Bippity boppity. Welcome back to yet another episode of So You're Interested in the show where I break down an artist's discography in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible jumping off point in order to get into the catalog. And on this week's episode, we will be talking about the legendary post-hardcore band Unwound. Originating in Olympia, Washington, they released a plethora of records from 1993 to 2002, most of which come off of Kill Rockstar Records. Their discography may be a little intimidating considering the sheer output that they had when they were together, but that is why I am here to be your musical tour guide through this maze. As always, I'll be talking about two albums and three individual tracks that I think you should be listening to if you want to get into Unwound. Let's kick things off with the albums. The first album from Unwound that you need to listen to is Repetition, which was originally released in 1996. Despite the namesake of this record, Repetition does not rely on one common theme or chord progression throughout the entire project, allowing each song to breathe and come into their own. Take Corpse Pose, for instance. You're immediately greeted with this radio-friendly grooving bass and these anxious guitar stutters. Definitely the standout track on this record, Corpse Pose is the perfect way to be baptized into Unwound. Then you get a track like Lowest Common Denominator, which feels like the manifestation of years and years of melancholic and depressive outlooks on life. Confusion and Dread drive this track with its dissonant guitars that find a way to shimmer through its rust. And finally, we come to Go to Dallas and Take a Left. This is an instrumental track through and through, but unlike many of the other songs on this record, this one actually kind of feels uplifting. The drum pounds sound perfect, the bass is present but not overbearing, and the guitar's repetition is oh so needed. Go to Dallas and Take a Left does not break any boundaries but it does help to calm down the end of this apathetic record. The next Unwound record to check out is their 2001 release, Leaves Turn Inside You. Arguably Unwound's most popular record, Leaves Turn Inside You is a bit more pretentious in its sound, with these long droning guitar feedbacks and puzzle-like lyrics. Starting with Look, A Ghost, you're greeted with a welcoming mix of unique guitar progressions and pauses, as well as these softly sung vocals. In a weird way, this song actually sounds much more like an indie rock track that a band like The Dismemberment plays would have written with its lush, spacious guitar strokes than it does a post-hardcore track, but that just adds to the song. Next, pay attention to Demon Sing Love Songs. This is yet another calming track off this album, which features a very catchy hook that is really fun to sing along with. Although, if you thought that Unwound had lost their edge, go read the cryptic lyrics and you might have a different opinion. Then you have October All Over Me, which is a much more haunting track than the previous two. The mix focuses much more on the echoing drums and sharp guitar thumps than it does the nearly unheard vocals, which just adds to the song's mystique. But with all that being said, Leaves Turn Inside You will be a perfect starting point if you're trying to get into Unwound. Now it's time to kick it with the tracks. The first track to check out from Unwound is Cantina off of 1993's Fake Train. Cantina relies on its driving bass and heavy guitar pounds to kick this song off into a noise fest like no other. This track finds the perfect balance between chaos and serenity, entering and leaving at its own will. The flow and pacing of the song also makes it an undoubted classic for Unwound, weaving genres like emo, post-hardcore, and punk into this beautiful menagerie of sound. Cantina is absolutely worth a listen. Next up, we have Pedals Like Bricks, which comes from their 1995 release, The Future of What. Immediately, you are tossed into a barrage of noise, with pulsating bass and shrill, stammering guitars. The vocals are also brought to the forefront of this cut, making it a nice diversion into the more universally understood post-hardcore sound, sounding a lot like Drive Like Jehu. Pedals Like Bricks is packed front to back with exploding sounds and conflicting ideas, culminating into a storm of anxiety and uncertainty. Last but not least, we have Hex and Zine from New Plastic Ideas, their 1994 sophomore effort. There's nothing out of the ordinary on this song, and it's just a damn good track. Hex and Zine is one of those songs that can help you sum up the concepts you have of this band, allowing it to be a great stepping stone to further listening adventures. The scratchy loud vocals are magnificent, as they are only slightly hidden behind the rambunctious yet on-point instrumentals. Just definitely make sure you give this song a listen. And unfortunately, that is all that I have for you on Unwound. Hopefully you take this information and these suggestions and go listen to some of their records. I really hope that you're able to enjoy them like I do. And if you don't like it, that's okay. I have plenty of other videos on this channel to help you get into different bands that you really have never thought about before. So make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this every single Wednesday, along with Forever Spinning which is basically just a video history lesson on some of the classic albums that we all know and love. Plus, I'll be sprinkling out some new videos here and there in the future. So, like I said, that's it. 
Go listen to Unwound, wear a damn mask when you're outside, go buy some vinyl or something like that, and stay tuned until next week. I'll catch you later.